Okay, I hope I'm recording this session. Yes. Okay. So functional setup manager. FSM. So when I talk about function setup manager, similar to this, we have something in EBS called as okay FSM. I'm sorry, ASM. In EBS. Okay, this is as per fusion and as per EBS. That too, especially in art world, we have a concept called as okay ASM. ASM stands for accounting setup manager okay accounting setup manager in EBS R12 by using accounting setup manager ASM what we can do we can do multiple configurations but not everything very specific within the ASM we can create the primary ledger we can create the reporting ledger secondary ledger and legal entities and we can do ledger specific setups it can be intra or intercompany related basic configurations and the sequencing reporting accounting sequence and other point is from the same uh, page you can get connected to organization definition form which is owned by hrms and will be able to define uh, the multi-org related configuration also from this environment that means it's a very centralized place where we can do the uh, different configurations Okay, this is one, one place to do multiple configuration. That's how we have ASM in EBS release 12. Of course, we know we don't have ASM in 11 i environment. Okay, the similar to that, what Oracle is, they given functional setup manager. Okay, functional setup manager. Before we get into the functional setup manager, let's talk about R12. In R12, if you want to start with the implementation, what we have to do, we'll create the responsibilities then we'll do all required to multi or configuration then we can start doing the setups if you want to do the payable setups if you want to do the payable setups you should switch to payables responsibility and you can do all the payables related configuration if you want to do any purchasing related basic setups yes you should switch to purchasing and in the same way you have to switch to respect uh, specific responsibility to do the specific application related configuration so it's all about switching and uh, just uh, it's a time taking and again every time you have to switch if you are doing the setups in the different application but by using the function setup manager you want to switch from one to other uh, environment i mean to say kind of responsible environment so all setups can be done in very centralized environment that we call as function setup manager okay when i talk about function setup manager i mean to say here in abs yes we have to switch if I go to payables responsibility, say I, we are working as an implementation consultant. If you go to payables responsibility, whatever Oracle provided a seeded menu with that menu, what are the responsibility created? If you go there, you will have an option. One, you can do setups. The second option is you can work on the transaction process. If I go to say payable super, uh, super user responsibility, I can do payables ledger configuration other side. I can work on the transaction process. We can create that. Uh, invoices we can make the payment okay this sort of work we can perform if you go to payables super user responsibility or say payables manager it's all about we are accessing the main menu it's a seeded menu which is given by oracle but in fusion environment that completely they separated okay only you can perform the setups within the functional setup manager if you want to work on the transaction process you should give the access to the user to relevant roles in ebs based on the menu which you are using the menu will allow the allow us to do the setups as well as process related activities but in fusion environment for setups they given separate roles and for process they given separate roles they separated these two activities okay with the different roles that is the one point we have to understand here and if you want to start with ebs implementation what we do site will go to the sysadmin and will create responsibilities and will be uh, doing all the setups and all but in the fusion environment if you want to do any implementation first what we have to do is you have to enable certain objects here before i talk about it let me introduce some terms so 
say we have a different uh, primary business processes which we call as financials say SCM and PPM project portfolio management okay we know very well in uh, R12 release 12 or uh, 11a the uh, PA project accounting we have a project accounting which consists of costing and billing application along with that as a solution of project suit project suit we have a uh, resource management and uh, project management different applications we have the all the applications the complete uh, project suit in fusion applications we are calling as ppm ppm stands for project portfolio management okay no more we are going to call as a project project accounting or fusion project accounting just the term we have to use ppm as a part of ppm we have multiple applications costing billing contracts and project management resource management and many other applications also we have as part of this so in the same way we have a crm so these all we call it as primary business processes or else different product families so these different product families in fusion we call as offerings that is the terminology we use when we are working with fsm so financials we call as one offering and SEM we call as offering in the same way PPM and CRM all the primary business processes okay will be calling as offerings this is the term we have to understand when you talk about offering called as financials I'll take financials this we are calling as offering as per the functional setup manager and within this financials we know we have a different applications say GL AP, AR, CM, FA, and we have other uh, uh, financial related applications also. I'm just listing out a few. So, within the financials, we have different applications. The financials or SEM, whatever these we are calling as offering, within the particular offering means, within the particular offering means, within the particular uh, of, uh, primary business process we have a different applications these applications we call as options okay we call as options this is a GL I can call as one option the same way APR CM and FA we call as a options so just this is the term we have to understand offering means specific product family and option is nothing but specific applications okay fine if you are going to do the implementation uh, fusion environment what we have to do is first you have to understand what is the scope of the project definitely when you are working we will be knowing that but based on the scope so what are the applications are what are the offerings you are going to implement based on that first what we have to do is in fresh environment I am always referring fresh environment I am not referring vision instance where uh, some partial configuration is done and uh, it's ready to use with the rest of setups I'm not going to refer that it's always I'm referring fresh environment in fresh environment what happens is so as per your implement project scope you have to enable offerings how to the first step to start with this uh, implementation is we have to enable offerings okay say for example I'm going to enable as per my project client is going to implement financial applications so I have to enable offering after enabling offering if you take example financials within the financials we have a different applications nothing but options so out of financial offering which options you are going to implement for the client you have to enable that means you will enable offering once you enable offering you will get an option to select options also then again you have to enable options First, we'll enable the offerings and we'll enable the options. In case of EBS, we don't do this kind of activity. Straight away, we can go and do create responsibilities and we can start doing the setups and we'll get into the transaction process. But in Fusion environment, you have to just enable it. If you don't enable specific offering which you are going to implement, so you cannot uh, get access to that. System won't allow you to have access to relevant offering and options okay so if you are going to implement only GL and AP and AR GL AP AR 
so in that case enable offering called as financials and enable only these three offerings okay then once you enable these offerings you can create the project you can create project i mean to say implementation project okay it's a simple as in eps what we do is if you want to create a primary ledger you have to get ready with calendar currency chart of accounts and accounting method okay anyway currency is seeded one by default oracle is providing so which we call as oracle is delivering the values so what we have to do is if you want to create the primary ledger by choosing specific currency we should enable the currency if you don't enable the currency you cannot find the currency when you are creating the primary ledger or any other ledger right so in the same way if you want to create the implementation project okay at the time of implementation project you have to select you are going to implement you are going to do that project against which offerings and which options that you have to select if you want to get at the time of implementation project creation time specific offerings and options before that you have to enable then only you can get it so here what is the meaning of implementation project in case of eps we don't create any project and all you may maintain information outside of the system through some dashboards or some tools or through excel or some other way by saying that which applications we are going to implement for the client or the resource are working which resource is responsible for which module which modules this is how just will maintain in this information again the progress also will be tracking outside of the system because we don't have any future within the application environment in 11 or release 12 which allows us to maintain which modules we are going to implement which resources are going to work for that project and what is the progress of the project how much percentage tasks are completed we cannot track all those information but in fusion application that is possible without creating the implementation project within the system environment you cannot do any setups okay so without creating the implementation project you cannot do any setups here please don't compare projects means some project related modules i am not referring okay anything if you want to implement financials you have to create the implementation project if you want to implement scm you can create the implementation project if you say if you are going to implement these four four offerings for one client you can go with the four implementation project in the same instance or else by selecting these four offerings you can create single project also you can manage how you just however you want but it won't makes any big difference if you are going to have four projects for four offerings or one project for four offerings it won't makes any difference it will facilitate system configuration that's it and it will allow you to track what is the progress of task okay which task is assigned to which resource and how much is completed how much in work in progress status how much is not started everything will be able to track very detail level that would be very good information for the people who are managing the project okay that's how we have a some kind of dashboard environment where we can see the very summary of information related to the project how that is moving and what is the status what is the risk involved in that project and what are the delays and everything you can find out okay where does pivo falls i didn't mention that uh, basically we have procurement also it falls into procurement there is one question from someone where pivo falls in which offering right satya so for pivo and all we have offering called as procurement and i have one more question from maruti the question is can we use the same implementation project after some time in future for enabling the few new offerings okay see <clears throat> enable i mean you ask the question can we use the same implementation project after some time in future for enabling the new offerings see we don't use implementation project to enable the offerings first we enable the offerings so that those offerings will be available to create the project okay within the project we are not going to enable anything that is a point see let me just elaborate that point here anyway I, i plan to discuss see here you first enable offerings within offering definitely you should select options without selecting options if you enable offering there won't be any use right okay you should enable offerings and the options you may uh, enable all options or specific options and then you can create the project while you are creating the project you can select okay you can select 
offerings and options okay at the time of implementation project creation which offerings and options you are going to implement you have to select if you don't enable you cannot select that is the reason we are enabling first okay so this is the point you have to understand here i have some question from satya are there statuses to track the project yes we have statuses we will be discussing now okay the same we'll be discussing now fine done so first we'll enable the offerings and options so that you can create the implementation project say enabled offering called as financials then i can create the implementation project against only financials if i want to create procurement if you want to do the procurement implementation i should enable procurement options offerings and options then only the procurement related offerings or options are available to create the project okay done will create it after creating what system will do is system will create the task list okay so system will auto create okay so system system creates task list the simple point here uh, i have one more question here let's focus on these questions first so can you disable any offering options after enabling them yes we can do that but once you do the implementation by using those offerings and there is option to freeze also in that case you cannot do any changes okay but by default yes you can disable also you can enable and at a later point of time you can disable okay fine that is possible we'll see that we'll be doing the same because we will go through each and every step what we are discussing how we'll be working when we are into project system will create the task list what is the meaning of task list so very simple say for example i created project by selecting offering called as financials option called as ap in this case to complete the ap related configuration which setups we have to do all the setup system will list out with the concept called as task list task list will talk about what are the setups need to be done in the system environment the respective to application or specific offering that all depends on which of offering and options you are selecting okay so i'll say in the task list you can see uh, payment terms and say if i refer fina r12 financials financials options and payable options say distribution sets see these are the different setups which need to be completed to start with the payables these are the uh, something like basic setups right the basic or advanced whatever which are related to payables application all system will auto generate as a task list okay setup related functions we are calling as a tasks the group of tasks we are calling as a task list that's all so depending on which offering and option you are selecting system will generate the task list okay once system will generate the task list you can assign the task list to team members so you can assign not only task list we can assign particular project to project we can assign project to project or specific offering or options or specific option or options or task list or specific task also this flexibility we have so when you are creating the project we can specify i mean i can assign the project to specific resource generally you may assign to who is heading that project project manager or someone the entire implementation project you can assign to specific resource and you can assign specific offering to so and so consultant say the financial offering i can assign to financial consultant if project is very big and it's very complex project you may have multiple resource for financials itself in that case you may assign 
option called as GL to one resource and AP to another resource, AR to different resource. That's how you can do it. Otherwise, what you can do is say in AP only there are multiple resources are working for AP implementation. Say client, we are doing global implementation and the very complex process. You don't want to give the option to one resource to do the complete configuration for tables. In that case, what you can do is the 50% of setups you can assign to one resource the rest of 50 percent you can assign to different resource you can do that other option is you may assign specific tasks to one resource say you may just assign financial options related setups to specific resource this is how we have a flexibility to get assigned relevant project or offerings or options or task list or specific tasks to specific resource this is what we can do okay when we create the project let me go through these questions which I can see in the chart chart window. So that we already answered. Can you disable is that also discuss will task list has marketing mandatory as optional. Yeah, you can just you can see that you can find over there which is a mandatory and which is optional with a asterisk star mark. You can see that that they given that they should give it. Yes, it's not assigning mandatory assignment is not mandatory assignment is not mandatory if you have a requirement or generally if you want to have a tracking if you want to see the progress of the project which you are implementing. So in that case assignment is required. Okay, but by default by default when you are creating the project from which user you are creating by default the project will get assigned, get assigned to that user and the stuff offerings and options and specific tasks list or tasks you don't need to assign to any resource as a mandatory activity it's all about your requirement if you want to track detail level the progress and uh, what is the status exactly the project is standing you can assign otherwise you can ignore it the flexibility and the advantage i'm trying to explain with this point okay fine <clears throat> so this is what we have to do we'll be assigning offerings options and task list okay to a specific resource the other point is then basically we'll start with the configuration we'll start with the system configuration so what are the setups we are doing for any application it's always recommended to do within the project environment in one instance, you can create multiple projects. In one instance, you can create multiple project. Whatever the project you create, that definitely will be referring particular offering and options. When you are doing that specific offering and option related setups, you should do the setups from within the from the project only. Outside of the project, also system will allow you to do the setups, but few setups you cannot complete if you are not doing from project itself that I'll be explaining what kind of setups and all. It's always recommended and you should do the setups from project only. Few setups you can do outside of the project, but you cannot complete all. That is the reason always we do the setups from, from our project environment only. So we'll start with the system configuration. When we start with the system configuration, we no need to switch from one to other place. So only one place that is a functional setup manager from there by selecting your project you can complete all the system related configurations for which offerings and options you have access through your project then once you start with the configuration we have a different statuses so by default you can set the status as not started and if you already started working on the setups you may mark the status as in progress already you completed the relevant setups and all then you can mark it as completed so that the overall project status can be tracked how much percentage of tasks are completed how many how much percentage of tasks in work in progress in progress status how many tasks are already completed the everything the project managers will have a great visibility throughout the project related activities it's very specific to configuration that's all not related to something else it's a very specific to configuration related progress tracking can be possible okay then we'll start tracking the project means we'll set status for whatever the setups we do finally it will allow us to track the status 
So this is how we'll start with the implementation. When we start with the system, this is how we'll be starting. So first we'll enable the offerings, then within that which options we require, you can you have to enable, it's not mandatory, you have to enable everything, which modules we are going to implement for the client, the relevant options only will be selecting. Then you can create the implementation project. To create implementation project, you should enable without enabling. You cannot find any offerings or options at the time of implementation project creation. So the implementation project always will create by selecting offerings and options. And uh, the other point here is, once you create the project by selecting offering the option, system will auto generate the task list. It's nothing but it will list out which setups you have to complete for specific module. One system will create the task list, the entire project or specific offerings or options or task list or very specific task also you can assign to respective resource. Once that is done, you can start configuring the system, but it's not mandatory. Okay, assignment is not mandatory. Anyway, for project system will take by default uh, user, I mean from which user you are creating that user, it will be marking as assign for assignment. The rest of are not mandatory and you can start with the system configuration so based on assignments what you got accordingly you can just uh, keep updating the status based on the what are the setups you complete and what is the progress of your work and finally that all the from the different offerings and options of the entire overall project related progress can be tracked since we are setting the status for each and every task or offering which you are working on so we'll start doing the configuration we'll start uh, setting the status and that can be tracked so this is how we'll be doing in fusion applications any questions on this functional setup manager please let me know we have some other advantages also we'll be discussing for sure but uh, this is a basic information which we should understand before we start with the system any questions on this Any questions? Fine. Seems to no questions. Okay. So this is all about just functional setup manager. If you want to get access to this functional setup manager, you have to assign the role called as application implementation consultant role to user. Okay, which role will give the access to do all these activities in the system? The role name is application. We discussed in last session also, but just I'm repeating since it's uh, more relevant. Application implementation consultant. And we have another role called as application implementation manager also. But consultant role is more powerful compared to manager role. Because manager cannot do certain activities, but consultant can do. The con manager means just to monitor the project, but consultant is the one who has to do the setups. That that means the full privileges are available with this role. Okay, so the correct role which we have to use at the time of implementation is application implementation consultant. Along with that, we discuss another uh, role also that is IT security manager. That IT security manager basically just we don't require to access it for specific tasks definitely that role is required and when you are working some admin related and IDM okay in that cases that role also uh, recommended that is the reason generally what we do whenever we create any implement any project okay any project can be finance related or it can be any implementation it can be finance or procurement or SEM or PPM whatever we are going to do the implementation of the system generally ideally we will be assigning the two roles application implementation consultant and the other one is as we discussed yesterday, IT security manager. Irrespective of offering and options, you can just assign these two roles to the uh, user so that you will get complete access in the system environment with respect to functional area. So I mean to say setups configuration. For any, any uh, application, you can do the setups with these two roles. Okay, that's all about functional setup manager to understand. So apart from this, I'll just take a different point, let it be. Okay, but this is a sequence, whatever 
the points I mentioned here, I just mentioned very sequence. So the same sequence we have to follow when we are working on the system. Okay, done.